USS Washington was the third Colorado-class battleship and the second to bear the name in honor of the 42nd state in the U.S. Navy. She was laid down on June 30, 1919 at Camden, but would never be completed, being caught out by the Washington Naval Treaty. Work would cease and she would meet her end by the conclusion of 1924. I've already talked about the statistics of the ship and the history of the design in a previous video, so let's get right down to the point. On October 18, 1916, bids for the four Colorado-class battleships opened, thanks to the appropriations of fiscal year 1917. Maryland would be laid down in this year, but her three sisters would not be started until 1919 and 1920. Meanwhile, the original South Dakota class of ships had just been canceled. This would make the Colorados the last U.S. battleships to enter service for nearly two decades, when USS North Carolina commissioned, and it also made them the last U.S. Navy battleships with twin turrets. USS Washington was laid down on June 30, 1919. Her keel was laid at Camden, New Jersey by the New York Shipbuilding Corporation, and she was launched on September 1, 1921, a hundred years ago if you're watching this in 2021. She was sponsored by Miss Jean Summers, daughter of Congressman John W. Summers of Washington. Unfortunately, she would only survive another seven months. On February 8, 1922, two days after the Washington Naval Treaty was signed, which limited size and number of battleships, construction work stopped. She was three quarters of the way finished and was actually more complete than one of her sisters, but nevertheless, work on the ship ceased. Work had stopped with her underwater armor in place, but despite this and her advanced stage of construction, she was slated to be used as a gunnery target. In November of 1924, she was towed out, and on the first day of testing, she was hit with two 400-pound torpedoes, three one-metric-ton near-miss bombs, and another 400 pounds of TNT detonated aboard. Yet, she stubbornly stayed afloat. Two days later, she was hit with 14 14-inch shells dropped from 4,000 feet, only one of which penetrated. She was finally put down by the battleships New York and Texas on the 26th with another 14 shells. The test did teach some valuable lessons to the Navy. The deck armor of the ships was deemed inadequate, and it was recommended that all future battleships be fitted with a double bottom. Unfortunately for us, USS Washington never got to live up to her potential. Well, at least not in this form. But that's a story for another day. Well, that's three of the four Colorado class done, only one left. And that'll maybe be in the next video. We'll see how I feel. Anyway, if you enjoyed this, don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, and I'll see you all in the next video. Bye!